Sally is a senior scientist in the Bloorview Research Institute and associate professor in the Department of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy and the Rehabilitation Sciences Institute at the University of Toronto. As head of TRAIL, Dr. Sally Lindsay's research focuses on the participation and social inclusion of children and youth with disabilities at school, work, and in the community. Current projects focus on employment readiness, transitions to adulthood, school transitions, peer mentorship, disclosure, and accommodations. Hello, and welcome to our presentation on barriers to school and work transitions for youth with and without a disability during the COVID-19 pandemic. As many of us know, the coronavirus disease pandemic has had a significant global economic impact and particularly so for youth and young adults and their ability to work, volunteer, and go to school. In regards to employment, youth are at particularly vulnerable risk to the economic impacts of COVID-19 since they are more likely than adults to hold temporary, non-unionized, and casual positions. They also often work in industries that are considered high risk during the pandemic, such as retail and healthcare. And in regards to school, disruptions to youth, youth edu education could have both short and longer term impacts for their school to work transition. The purpose of this study was to explore barriers to school and work transitions for youth with and without a disability during the COVID-19 pandemic. We used a qualitative design that involved in-depth semi-structured interviews. And our data collection and analysis was guided by interpretive descriptive me methodology. We recruited youth with and without disabilities by using a purposive sampling strategy. Our interviews were condu conducted remotely, mainly through Zoom and phone, as we were not allowed to conduct in-person interviews during the pandemic. Most of our participants were from the greater Toronto area, which had a very high rate of COVID cases. Our interviews were audio transcribed verbatim and were analyzed by researchers independently who read and coded the transcripts and, and defined themes. In regards to our sample characteristics, we had 35 participants with a mean age of 23, 18 of whom um, had a disability and 17 without. Most of the participants were women, 17 of them were employed and 20 were also in school. In looking at our key themes related to the barriers that they encountered in school to work transitions during COVID, they had, many of them had a difficult transition to online school and working from home, uncertainty about employment, missed career development opportunities. And many of these challenges were more exacerbated for youth with disabilities. In terms of a difficult transition, most youth had challenges with transition to remote learning and working from home. Such difficulties included expenses of setting up a home office, technical challenges, and the impact on mental health. In regards to uncertainty about employment, all youth expressed uncertainty about employment and many of them had quite profound difficulties in finding work, especially those who didn't um, previously have experience before the pandemic. Difficulties included underemployment, reduced hours and job security, difficult working conditions, difficulty finding work, canceled jobs, lack of opportunities to work from home, and also disability related challenges. In regards to missed career development opportunities, both youth with and without described um, having many missed career opportunities during the pandemic. These included canceled or reduced placements or internships, lack of volunteer opportunities, uncertainties about career pathway, and concerns about the longer term impact on their career pathway. So to conclude, our study explored how youth and young adults are particularly vulnerable to the socioeconomic impacts of COVID-19. Youth with disabilities may need additional supports with a smoother transition to virtual learning, working remotely, and also engaging in meaningful and accessible vocational activities that align with their career pathway. <laughs>